The Elder Scrolls is a series of games known for being incredibly long and jam-packed with content. Beating one in under 10 minutes might sound crazy, but with the help of one simple glitch, Oblivion will be conquered. Of course, beating the game in this fashion kinda defeats the purpose of an Elder Scrolls game, but if you just want to have some fun, show off to a friend, or grab yourselves a quick 110 gamer score on the Xbox version, this tutorial will help you do just that. Or maybe you're just here to see me break the game. In any case, let's get started! Alright, first let me explain the glitch we'll be using to make the magic happen. I did test this glitch in the Xbox 360 version, the PS3 version, and the PC version, and it works in all three. So what you do is you run into a wall, preferably in a corner, then you save your game. Afterwards, quit to the main menu and reload your file. Now right here you have to be sure to quit to the main menu. If you just load your game from the pause menu or do a quick load, it's not gonna work out. Once you're back to the main menu and you've loaded your game, while the game is loading, hold down forward. And once you're back into the game, with luck, you'll go right through the wall. What's happening here is Oblivion loads a little bit awkwardly. It actually loads your character and your movement slightly before it loads the collision from the walls. So for a very brief moment after you've loaded your game, you can actually walk through walls. If you've done this in just the right spot, you'll go all the way through the wall and you'll fall out of bounds. The way that Oblivion reacts to you falling through the world is it actually snaps you back inside the level. The space that actually snaps you to is typically whatever is right above you. So if you're trying to get to a particular spot, you want to go through the wall and line yourself up so that the place you want to land is directly above your head. And while you're out of bounds, there's actually some things you were never meant to see. For example, right underneath the cell where you start the game, there are some bodies. You can also clip outside of your cell and land inside the cell of the guy who taunts you at the start of the game. Anyone who has played Oblivion probably hates this guy and will be very excited to know you can go inside and beat the snot out of him. <laughs> Yay! Oh man, this makes me so happy. Prisoner, stand away from the door. Over by the window now. Oh, I kinda can't. There aren't any windows in this cell. Dude, I I know, I I know you want me to get next to the window. I can't. I'm in a different cell, you dweeb. What a nerd! Okay, enough messing around. The final note with this glitch is sometimes you'll only partially clip inside the wall rather than go all the way through it. If this happens right after you load and you're partially clipped through, pause the game, save, go back to the main menu, reload, and try again. If you repeat this multiple times, eventually you'll get through the wall. Right, now you know the glitch, so let's go use it to beat the game fast. I start up a new file, skip the opening cutscene, and create a character. You can use any race for this, but the Red Guard is the best for going fast because they have a racial ability called Adrenaline Rush, which lets them go extra fast. I give my dude a name and with some tender love and care create the perfect character. <laughs> oh boy. As soon as I gain control of the character, I go to this corner behind the chains and clip through this wall as you've already seen me do. I direct myself over to the right which clips me back inbounds but outside of my cell. Once I'm back in, I go up these stairs and into this little alcove so I can do yet another clip. This time the goal is to land in this area with the little goblin dude. And once we're next to the goblin, I actually loot him to pick up an iron key that I need to open the door over here. Now once we're in this room, the next couple of rooms are basically just standard gameplay. I do use my adrenaline rush ability to go faster since we are going to be doing a lot of running here. So we finally make our way to this door and go to the next area, which as mentioned is also pretty much just a standard playthrough. We just keep running through, try not to get killed by rats, and find this door right here. Now once we're in this room, we actually hop down and go down into this hallway because the emperor and his guards are up there, and we kinda need them. You could just wait for them to walk along, but to speed things up, you can punch Glenroy a bunch of times, and eventually he'll start attacking you. Once this happens, just run down to this door, then you can actually hold up your fists by blocking, and then press the interact button to yield. And that'll stop him from attacking you, but it also got them near you, which is convenient. After some time passes, the Emperor will actually ask you to choose a sign, and I choose the Steed because it gives you extra speed, so... Better movement! After I've chosen the steed, I once again punch Glenroy a bunch so that way he'll start attacking me, and I run all the way down this area until I get to a door to the Sanctum. Now at this point, the door is actually locked, but once Glenroy gets over here, he'll start attacking a bunch of these assassins, and eventually unlock the door as well. So once the door to the Sanctum unlocks, we go inside, and this room is actually quite important because there is going to be yet another clip. I hop over to this area, right inside this little alcove covered in spiderwebs, and we go inside, do the clip. Now this one I've had a lot of trouble getting on my first try, so you might might have to do the trick I mentioned at the start, where you have to save, try again, and do a few different attempts until you finally get through. One other note is that you want to make sure you land behind this door, because that door is locked, it needs a key, and we don't have the key. But if you clip through just like this, and get right inside this area next to the sewer cover, 
we're good to go. I go inside the sewer and we're pretty much at the home stretch. We just have to run through the sewer and get to the exit. There is one final note before we leave the tutorial section. And that is we've actually skipped choosing a class because we've glitched our way to the end here. Some people online have reported that beating the game without choosing a class has led to them crashing. So just to be safe, go ahead and choose edit class and pick whichever class you like. Once that is done, go ahead and exit. We finally made it outside of the tutorial. Believe it or not, we are almost done. So if you happen to have a save file sitting around that's already outside the sewer and you just want to go beat the game real quick, go ahead, load that bad boy up and I'll show you how to beat the game. So to beat the game from here, all we have to do is use a quick travel and go to the Imperial City Temple District. Once we're here, we want to walk up directly to the door in front of us and once again, clip through this as well. This is the last clip we're going to have to do. Once we clip through, we'll be inside this building, which is pretty cool on its own, but there's actually this little door sticking up out of the ground for some reason. What we want to do is go inside that door and then once we're in, immediately go back outside. And once we do that, there's just uh, corpses that are burnt and fire and storms and uh, just all kinds of general nastiness. Next, we just have to run down the road a little bit and once the quest text pops up, go ahead and close that, turn back around, and go back inside the building we were just in. Then go ahead and use your rest option. Rest for 24 hours, and after some time, it'll close on its own. And good old Martin Septim will give you a little chatteroony. Once he does, just spam through his text, then just sit tight for a minute while Martin runs over to the wall for some reason. After a moment, Martin will talk to you again, go through his text, and congratulations! You have just beat The Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion. You'll lose control of your character, and you'll watch a final little battle scene here between giant demon dude who destroys everything, and the avatar of Akatosh. After the battle, you'll get dropped off into the final cutscene, and that is it. The main quest has been completed. If you're on the Xbox 360 version, you will get the achievement alongside 110 gamer score. And guys, we did it. Our only quests completed are the tutorial and the final main quest in the game, both completed on the same in-game day. And if you wait in-game for two weeks, you'll also receive the Imperial Dragon Armor, which is pretty sick. I started to wait and suddenly Boris popped up of all people. I think he still thinks we're in the sewer? My job is to make sure the Emperor gets out of here alive, and I intend to do it. Uh, Boris, the, the Emperor is, um, he's kind of dead. I have no idea if I'm saying his name right, but afterwards, Boris started tiptoeing along like a madman, so I decided to follow him, naturally. The Blades have gotten the Emperor out of worse situations than this. Oh, have you? Have you really? I just kept following him, and following him, and you know what? I'm going to keep following him. If you want to find out where Boris is going, or you just want to see me spawn 10,000 watermelons in someone's house, among many other glitches, check back next time, because I will be doing a proper glitch fest for this game. I'll see you then. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. It is currently 3 a.m. and I just finished editing this. If you enjoyed this, definitely subscribe and share it with a friend if you think they might like it. And if you want to watch more videos, we got annotations right here or links down below. We got the Super Mario Sunshine No Hover Nozzle Challenge Part 2. You guys really seem to enjoy that one. As well as some more Pokemon card stuff, which I've been doing over on my Psycho Crud channel. I know three channels is a bit hard to follow, but it's the best way to filter content. So go subscribe to all of them if you're interested. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.